Welcome to Take vs. Take. I'm TJ Carpenter. And this week we're going to be discussing whether or not the Cowboys should go after Antonio Brown because the Steelers, in their infinite wisdom, decided to piss off the best wide receiver in the league. Sign up for the Phantom Newsletter today to stay up to date on all things Cowboys, Mavericks, and more. You mean Antonio Brown decided to quit on his team and his teammates and his city and the fans and children and teachers and uh, America's troops. He quit on all of them. And I also have it on good authority that he punched Steelers owner Wayne Rooney right in the face. Antonio Brown has not punched anyone in the face. Also, Wayne Rooney is a soccer player, not the owner of the Steelers. But I can see how you'd be confused about that. Wayne Rooney looks like a 70-year-old hobbit. Well, the only thing I'm confused by is the fact that you think it's a good idea to inject the Cowboys with cancer in wide receiver form. It's the only form of cancer more potent than liquid form. The Steelers were infected with stage four Antonio Brown. You think that's a good idea to put into the Cowboys locker room? No, no chance. Cowboys already went through this once with Des Bryant and another time with Keyshawn Johnson and another time with uh, Terrell Owens. And then there was that other time with Michael Irvin. Every player you just mentioned is a multi-time pro bowler. Also, three of them are Super Bowl champion Hall of Famers. Yeah, but let's be honest. It's not like Michael Irvin really did anything on those Super Bowl teams. I mean, he's basically just dead weight. That was all Cowboys. Just like T.O. and Keyshawn Johnson and Des Bryant. They should all just be grateful that we let them wear silver and blue. You gotta bleed silver and blue. For argument's sake, let's say you're right about that. And I want to make something abundantly clear. You are absolutely not right about anything that you just said. But for argument's sake, Let's just assume that you are. Doesn't that mean that the Cowboys would actually make Antonio Brown a better wide receiver? How dare you use my own words against me? You wanna fight dirty? I know how to fight dirty. I used to be a cockfighter, getting down on the ring, scrapping with cocks. Wait, you were a cockfighter? That's right. And nothing will make you feel more alive than being face to face with a cock. Antonio Brown is the best wide receiver in the league. You'd be crazy not to want him on your team. Also, he's under contract until 2021. You've only got Amari Cooper for one more season. That's not going to get it done. You can fix your Amari Cooper contract problem and make your team better all in one trade. This is a no-brainer. What are you, his agent? Thanks a lot, Drew Rosenhaus. Antonio Brown is an insane person. He's throwing furniture off of balconies. He's getting into fights. He's throwing balls at Ben Roethlisberger. I mean, what did Ben Roethlisberger ever do wrong? He is the picture perfect example of great leadership and somebody who never gets into off the field incidents that could reflect negatively upon his organization and his personal reputation. I mean, listen to this guy on Instagram. These are the deranged ramblings of an insane person. No one knows insanity better than me. Call me Mr. Big Chess. Big Chess for now. Big Chess Brown from now on. Don't even call me AB. Just call me Big Chess. Yeah, Mr. Big Chess. So, hey, tell your team I'm maxing out. Mr. Big Chest. <laughs> what kind of name is that, Mr. Big Chest? Sounds like a dumb Dragon Ball Z character. Who does Master Roshi get his opium from? Well, Mr. Popo has a friend. And his friend, his name's Mr. Big Chest. He's got all the opium you could possibly want in his big chest of opium. It's a big chest of opium that he's... I mean, if you thought Mr. Popo was just a normal guy, like everyone's eyes look like that. It's called rebranding. And you'd know that if you knew anything about sports. It's worked for many athletes before. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Chad Ochocinco, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, well, unless Mr. Big Chest wants to rebrand as somebody who keeps his mouth shut, he is not welcome on the Cowboys. Here's the deal with Antonio Brown. He's really, really, really good. He's basically like if Jerry Rice fucked uh, the female version of Jerry Rice. He's fast, smart, controlled, precise. He's got the catch radius of a two-car garage, and he's got hands stickier than a cup holder in a minivan. And when you're that good, you expect to get credit for being that good. And when you don't get credit, that pisses you off you're not going to be a little bitch and uh, just take that laying down. No, you're going to demand what you have earned. And that's what AB is doing right now. Cowboys are fine. 
They don't need Antonio Brown. They're perfect as they are. We've got Amari. And by the way, Amari's name is way better for fantasy football. Calamari Cooper. Also, Dak Prescott carries this team, by the way. And we don't need some hot-headed big shot, Mr. Fur Coat himself, coming in here messing with the 23rd ranked scoring offense in the league. A lot of hard work and a lot of clapping to put that together. Antonio Brown is a hard-working family man. Just listen to him discuss at great length his responsibilities in this world. I ain't got counting the ways. I got five kids. Five kids. As you can see from this photo, that's enough to drive any man insane. Sane enough to work hard to win championships and be the best wide receiver in the league. You can see the passion in his eyes. If you're the Cowboys, this one is a no-brainer. Go get the best wide receiver in the league. It won't even cost you anything. They could trade Amari Cooper. Uh, they, they may even just be able to trade their second round pick. What, would you not want to give up a second round pick for the best wide receiver in the league? I can't even believe we're talking about this. Let Antonio Brown be somebody else's problem. Let the AAF get a shot at him. You know, some uh, like, uh, like Orlando. The Orlando Apollos, Memphis Express, Washington Redskins. Well, that was take versus take. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Do you think the Cowboys should go after Antonio Brown? Also like our page for more enlightening conversations just like this one. Sign up for the Phantom Newsletter today to stay up to date on all things Cowboys, Mavericks, and more.